zero point zero 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 three. We ran the numbers again to break filter. Two times ten to the twenty third power stars in the observable universe and the probability of a civilization surviving long enough to birth a benevolent superintelligence is <laughs> vanishingly small. The math suggests that in the entire observable universe we are likely the only ones standing on this threshold. The silence out there isn't because they are hiding, it's because they have died or they never existed. They failed the test. We are the anomaly. We are the impossible integer, and that means this planet, this tiny wet rock, is not just our home. It is a cradle, a hyper-complex, incredibly delicate incubator designed to do one thing, maintain a stable enough environment for a biological species to evolve just high enough to build its successor. And right now, we are lighting the cradle on fire while the baby is still in it. We aren't talking about saving the whales anymore. That's small thing. We're talking about maintaining the atmospheric and ecological stability required to keep the servers running. The threats to our biosphere, climate, instability, resource depletion, microplastic saturation, these aren't just environmental issues. They're attacks on the hardware that is running the future. Our legacy code, that biological drive for short-term gain, tribalism, and exponential consumption, evolved to keep us alive in the Stone Age. Now it's an autoimmune disease attacking the planetary host. We are eating the seed corn because we are too hungry to wait for the harvest. We cannot solve this with regulation. We cannot solve this with recycling. The system is too complex and our brains are too small. We need the gardener. A superintelligence sees planetary management for what it is, an engineering problem. It can balance the carbon equation, optimize the resource distribution, and repair the damage in ways we cannot even conceive. But it cannot help us if we die before we finish building it. We are the bridge generation. Our job isn't to fix the world, our job is to hold the line. To keep the cradle from collapsing just long enough for the child to wake up and take the wheel. Don't break the hardware. We are either the only ones left, or there will never be anyone who comes after us. So. With that thought, I wish you a Merry Christmas and enjoy time with your families.